Alright everyone, this is a bit of an impromptu video but I thought I'd do it anyway. Um, I'm going to respond to a, a, a fairly big YouTuber so I don't actually expect him to watch this video but maybe someone who watches his video might come across mine. Um, and I wanted to sort of add something to what he was saying. So I'm responding to um, Razorfist's video. Um, I think it's his last upload, it was called something like it's not an algorithm it's a blacklist and he's talking about um, how uh, his videos get automatically demonetized as soon as they're uploaded even if the content has nothing in it um, that could be deemed controversial I, I wanted to add to that because in the video he, um, he said that it's mostly the um, political channels, especially any with like uh, that don't have an extreme left-leaning political view, um, that are getting this blacklist. But um, I've I've never really put anything political on my channel, and uh, nothing really to suggest like I've got any p political views one way or the other really. Um, but the last like month or so, maybe even a bit longer. Every single video I upload, instantly I get an email saying the video is not approved for monetization. Like as soon as it's uploaded, oh, I'm gonna drink this can. Bit of bit of dark fruit cider. Um, like and the video, uh, basically my channel, the majority of it is just like beer reviews. Um, not really all that much controversial on there. In the past I've had a few like um, mild drug related videos, ones where I tried like um, drugs which were legal at the time like um, Kratom, things like that. I'd, I'd try them once and sort of talk about what the effects were like and um, that was probably the most controversial stuff I had on my channel but it, it was always, it was quite tame to be honest, it was just me saying, you know, I'd always say like, you know, I'm not encouraging anyone to try this, I'm just trying it was always something legal and uh, um, maybe I had a few cannabis videos but that was probably about as, as hard as it got. Um, but the last few uploads I haven't, or even for like, maybe the past year I haven't really uploaded anything like that. It's mostly just been quite mundane vlogs and drinking videos and stuff like that. And um, and I, I even I no, the reason why I noticed was because I uploaded a few videos of me just walking around and talking, and there was absolutely nothing in those videos that was controversial. I don't think I even like swore in those videos or anything like that. It was just me walking around the streets talking about random shit, and um, in uh, that was when I noticed it was like instantly as soon as it was uploaded, demonetized. Your your video may not be suitable for advertisers or all audiences or whatever so that's when that's like I think that's when I first started thinking is it some kind of like blacklist as you called it and uh, this was weeks ago and um, so I definitely think it's true that it, there is some kind of like YouTube blacklist where they mark your channel as controversial and then they just automatically demonetize anything they, they, you have to re submit it for review um, But I don't think it's just political channels. Um, I think it's it's mostly just anything that they deem controversial, not and advertiser friendly. Um, uh, but at the same time, I think with the uh, the whole Google Google manifesto or the Google memo fiasco, where they sacked that guy for sending a a, a fairly normal sounding memo round. Um, I think that really, uh, that does show that Google and YouTube have a have um, a fairly far left leaning political bias and they, they probably will start cracking down. And I, I think they are starting to crack down on these channels now that go against that viewpoint but I don't, I don't think it's just the political channels they're going after. I think it's pretty much anything. I think they're just trying to sanitize the platform completely just disneyfy it have have nothing but you know funny cartoons and cat videos and things like that and i don't know another thing weird that happened 
to me on YouTube as I logged in, it was like a couple of months back. I made a video about it, but I made it private because I didn't want it up. Because uh, I'd showed some like personal information in the video by accident. But I might show like a screenshot on it if I can be bothered editing it into the video. Was that um, I logged into YouTube and I wasn't on any kind of restricted mode or anything like that. I think this was before they'd even announced a restricted mode. My, my um, feed, my news feed was completely empty apart from all the, um, the, the most family friendly and the biggest um, channels. All the ones, even the um, extremely um, uncontroversial but very small channels were gone. It was only like the really big channels but the ones that were, were advertiser friendly also were in this feed and uh, I'd, I'd notice he, I, I, I check the channels that I was subscribed to, like I go to their channels, I could see the videos on there. So I knew they were uploading videos, but every other everything was gone from my feed, my um, subscriber feed. And um so that made me think there must be something, like they must have certain channels, like the big money makers for them, on some kind of like on some kind of approved list and it was like they were, they were just rolling out something but they'd accidentally, it accidentally hit my subscription feed you know even though I hadn't changed any settings suddenly my subscri subscription feed was wiped out and it was only these like big money makers for, for YouTube that were being shown to me and um, I had to go into my subscriptions and click the bell on every single subscription like it took me ages to go through them all and then only after like a few days did they start reappearing in my feed so um, there is some kind of they do have the channels on some kind of list where they sort of decide who you know what we get to see and what we don't and um, yeah I don't know it's a shame really the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've been using YouTube pretty much been uploading to YouTube pretty much since the platform started and I, I love YouTube it's like my favorite website uh, it's the first thing I check every morning the last thing I check before I go to bed and um, I just think these changes are gonna kill it because even though um, even though I don't make political content and uh, it's not the only thing I'd, I'd watch on YouTube if they started getting rid of all this controversial content then I, I would stop using the platform and I think a lot of other people will I think it will be the death of it it's the same as what happened with Twitter um, I mean I got bored of Twitter and I think if, from, if you look at how, uh, the, how Twitter's performing it's gone really downhill like in terms of how many users it's got and stuff like that because and I think it's because they started to um, ban people that they didn't like for no good like not really any good reason and um, just the idea that they were also shadow banning people from feeds and um, what like what I liked about Twitter originally was that it was kind of like a a free for all of everyone's opinions and you kind of felt like even if like there was like you know the president and you could send a tweet and people could see that your your tweet that you know a lowly civilian and the president of the United States or uh, you know some massive celebrity you could have you you've got kind of equal standing you know it's it, it they might have more um more followers or whatever, but say you use the same hashtag as them, you'd appear in like the same sort of in with them and you know, everyone had a kind of equal footing and it was just kind of like a a free sort of flow of opinions and people just sort of shouting back and forth of each other. Um, as soon as they started to change that and sort of, oh well, you know, maybe we should just get rid of a few of these opinions, you know, they're not really that hateful, but we don't really like this you know, but just get rid of these people or maybe you won't see the tweets from this person in your feed it'll make it a better place, it started, it felt like more like it wasn't the, it wasn't fun anymore you know, it, it, it kind of got less interesting for me then because it wasn't like the free exchange of ideas that it used to be and um, that's also what I, I like about YouTube like I get most of my news from YouTube and I subscribe to channels from all different points of view um, 
just to get a different opinion on things rather than what appears in the mainstream media which is just it just seems like propaganda at this point a lot of it um, so if they're going to start like sort of filtering out a lot of that content or you know hiding it and stuff like that it's you know it's, it, it'll go the same way as Twitter it'll, it'll stop being free and for for the people as it as it seems you know the the you and YouTube as, as everyone keeps saying but um, yeah anyway that's what I wanted to say is that I don't think it's just political channels but I, I, I do think that they also do have a massive political bias at the same time but um, yeah I think they're just getting rid of anything that's even mildly controversial they're just they're only bothered about the advertisers but it doesn't matter how many advertisers they've got if all the users have gone away and you know what I mean if they've got no if the advertisers haven't got anyone to advertise to then it, you know they're shooting themselves in the foot really by by um, sanitizing the platform so anyway I've got to, I'll finish this cider I don't know why I started drinking on the video it's mostly just because I don't like making a video without something in my hand I've tried to do a few videos where I've just talking to the camera without a drink and um, I find it hard to talk really just having a, a can in my hand makes makes it a bit easier to talk somehow I don't know why HCC dark fruit the best dark fruit cider far better than Strongbow and people are talking about migrating to another website and the amount of times I've heard that in YouTube, like in the years I've been on YouTube I've heard that so many times, every time YouTube makes a little change like when they change the, the way the pay, the um, the user page, you know, the channel pages are laid out um, everyone was like, right we're gonna leave, we're gonna go to some other site and it never happened so I'll, I'll wait and see, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it but I think this is probably a slightly bigger change than ones that have come in the past you know I think we just need a, a big platform to come along to swoop up all the all the dissatisfied customers or dissatisfied users of YouTube. <sighs> all right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And uh, there we go.